Welcome back folks, last time you here playing The Witch 3 now. I decided to take a small break from uploading guides and all that stuff to Witcher. Now I just wanna, you know, say why am I so obsessed with this game? Because a lot of people actually told me that, um, oh my god, you've been playing this game for so goddamn long. It's like you post so many videos of Witcher and like, you never did that. I mean, you were playing games, but you never uploaded so many videos of one game. I was like, yeah guys, thing is, I love RPG games. I mean, all of you that follow me from the beginning uh, of my channel, you know that my first game that I uploaded on this channel was a gothic and it was an RPG, so you probably know that's why I love RPGs, I adore huge games which like take you a hundred hours to finish just because I, 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 I like the, the characters and everything in that game. Oh my god, this thing is strong. Uh, I'm playing it live, so yeah, I'm not actually pre-recording this and then posting my commentary so this it's live guys and um let's at least see if i can destroy this hag anyway um let's talk about witcher i mean let's talk about the games that i played before like gothic and skyrim those were the two rpg games that i enjoyed so much it's like damn i i play those games and i'm like all right it has a, an awesome character character development it has an awesome story awesome uh Awesome world, awesome graphics. I mean, Gothic didn't have it, it was an old game, but still, even though it was a small game, it, the world wasn't that huge, I mean, you couldn't do so many things. I still have a, probably 150 hours into that game when you sum everything up, and I have a problem with my silver sword. It's like, whenever I start recording, these things happen to me, so it's uh, it's quite bad. Let's see if I can, um, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, awesome. Now we can fight this hag. Anyway, and then... I was like, I finished Gothic, I was like, looking for a game which is going to hold my attention for so long. Then I find Skyrim. Skyrim was so amazing. I mean, it held my attention for probably 250 hours in one character, so I wasn't playing with two characters. I only take one character and I play with it. Now, there's a, a ton of things you can do in Skyrim. I mean, you can't compare Skyrim with Witcher because I do believe those are two separate games, even though... They say that it's uh, it's an RPG, it is, but it's not the same thing. It's not. And um, that's when I actually found out about The Witcher. I mean, I found out about Witcher 1 long time ago when it came out. I was like, let's go and uh, and play this game. Look, Ardenae. Oh, a new sword. This is going to be good for a video. Anyway, so I started playing uh, The Witcher and the 1 and like, this game really got to me because the it was so epic. I mean... You can do all those things in, in the game, I mean, the character development, everything was so well done. I mean, when you go into the world, even though it was an old game, it was still uh, so goddamn amazing. And uh, it really held my attention. Then Witcher 2 comes out and they improved the game a lot. They added so many things, the graphics were better and uh, the style of combat was so amazing. And uh, I got into that game, but... It wasn't, it wasn't enough for me. I mean, I, I'm really hard when it comes to RPG games. I, I mean, don't take me wrong, Witcher 2 was amazing. It was one of the best RPGs I've ever played. But this, the, then Witcher 3 actually gets um, announced, and I was like, all right, let's 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 give this game a shot. And I see all of these trailers and gameplay, and I see how many things they added to the game, like these little details, like his beard is growing. God damn it. And, like, I do believe that those little things, like, um, this huge world when you're into and, like, you experience everything that other, you know, people in, in this game, like, all the, the NPCs experience, you experience this as well. And you're taking this role of a witcher and, like, what, it's like, the story is so important because, like, what drives Geralt to do all these things that he does in The Witcher 3? Because he's looking for Ciri and everything that he does. He's risking his life f to save other people, he's risking his life to do things that will eventually lead him to his prize, and that is finding uh, Ciri, and that's what he did, and um, that's what makes this game so goddamn amazing, because all of those small things Come make on. this game so huge, and it was like crazy, so... I got into this game and I enjoy it so much and a lot of people ask me like you're so obsessed with it. of course I am because it's holding my attention because you can do so many things in this game you can travel 
the, the country and not do a single quest, you can still explore and it's still going to be fun. Of course you can do quests, you can not explore anything, it's going to affect your equipment, but still, you can do that because it's an open world game. Let's, let's look at the map, I mean the map is huge, it's epic, and you have like so many areas like the role plays in the Zima, White Orchard, Novigrad, the Skellig Isles, the, the Kaer Morin. There are so many things and decisions you make in this game actually count um, for for um, for the rest of the game. So it's not like, okay, you did that and that's it. So it stays. Anyway, guys, so that's why I'm really into this game so far. Because th the world is amazing, the characters are amazing, and that's what makes a, no a good RPG. That's what makes a good RPG game. And still... When it comes to good RPG games, you need to have a good studio which makes good games and CD Projekt Red actually uh, proved that they are amazing in making games. They're really friendly when it comes to us gamers and uh, when it comes to us YouTubers because they said, alright, you can go and put all of that content we put in there. What the hell? Is that a... Oh yeah. We're gonna have an epic fight, guys. I just hope this thing is not uh, strong. Anyway. So... That's when it comes to these things, it's like, oh, level 20, I can kill this. So, that's what makes this game so amazing, it's like, all of these things... Oh god. All these things, like, this, this, this cockatrice is so amazing, look. Wow, oh wow, it's gonna kill my... It's gonna kick my ass, guys. It's gonna kick my ass. It's gonna kick my ass. Alright, so... Anyway, I was saying about the game. Actually, the only game that were, was so good as Gothic, uh, as uh, Witcher was Gothic, actually. And that's why I enjoy it so much. Oh my god, I think I, I'm poisoned. I, I drank too much. I gotta kill this thing there. Oh shit, there we go. Awesome. Anyway, so I'm gonna need to eat before uh, this thing kills me. And uh, yeah, guys, so I think I'll just wrap it up here because it's so hard to actually um, talk and uh, enjoy this. So yeah, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to die now because my toxicity is really high and uh, I'm not sure if this thing is going to hold. Oh, it's not. It's good. If you drink too many potions, of course, toxicity gets up and uh, it can be pretty bad for you. Anyway, so as I said, amazing team behind this game, they're really friendly to us uh, gamers and YouTubers and uh, that's why uh, this game is actually now what it is, the best game of the year, I'm gonna say this, this is the best game of the year, it's like game of the year edition guys and I'm like, I'm not going to lie, no other game actually made me play so much, it's like, it was Gothic Skyrim and then this, nothing else made me play a game so much it didn't hold my attention for a very long time but this game does it really good and that's why I love it I love this game so much and uh, I'm sure the most of you can agree with me on that that uh, you love this game and it's amazing and it's like they release like 16 DLCs for free and that's what's amazing for like everyone it's like you get something for free and if you buy like you get two uh, DLCs which are going to be like 20 hour DLCs, not like 5 hour or 3 hour DLCs, no, 20 hour DLCs and locking new locations and all that, so thank you guys for watching, um, I hope that I actually made my point here, and that's what's, why am I so obsessed with this game and why this game is so amazing and uh, if you like this, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, also don't forget to Tell me down below what you think about this game and are you obsessed with Witcher. And um, of course, don't forget to stay subscribed because I'll be uploading more guides and all that kind of stuff soon. So, thank you for watching. Last no meal signing out and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.